Hey guys, so I was shopping around on Ulta's website and I saw in their new release section that they had released a new MAC concealer. So MAC came out with a new concealer. This is the MAC Studio Waterweight Concealer. It comes in like their typical MAC packaging, but it comes in like a different sort of packaging. This is like a little drop bottle. So it's supposed to be like a very liquidy, lightweight concealer. So we're gonna test this out today. It's supposed to be a medium to full coverage. So even though it's a very lightweight, liquidy formula, it's supposed to pack a punch in the pigment area. So I'm super excited. Um, I think I'm actually also going to try this as foundation because I follow a senior artist on Instagram. His name is Dominic underscore MUA. I'll probably link it in the description box. Um, but he actually posted about the concealer and he said um, he's been using it for a few months now and it's great as a concealer, but it's also amazing as a full coverage, lightweight um, foundation. So he also likes to use it like as foundation so I thought that was like really interesting. I know you don't get a lot in here. So like if you do plan on using it as a foundation, um, <laughs> you might run through it quickly, but supposedly you only need like the smallest drop and it is like pretty full coverage. So we're gonna test that out, but use that as just concealer. I could probably see this lasting you a pretty good amount of time just because I did a little patch test on my hand and literally the smallest little drop blended out like the entire surface area of my hand. So I can see this lasting you a while. You actually get the same amount as the typical like Pro Longwear um, matte concealer. So it's nine mils, um, 0.30 fluid ounces in both concealers. I'm just gonna read a couple of the claims straight from Ulta's website. It says, long wearing eight hours, provides instant hydration, reduces appearance of under eye circles, dark spots, and discoloration, reduces appearance of pores and fine lines, provides stay true color, non-caking, streak resistant, oil free, I have something to say about that, for all skin types, especially normal to dry skin, definitely agree, and dermatologist tested. So we've got some good claims there. The only one I'm like kind of confused about is the oil free, claim because it feels like super oily like it feels kind of like um the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow like how it's infused with like oils um like that's like the feeling I get from it and also like on the ingredients it says it has like castor oil and like glycerin in it and I'm pretty sure both of those are like oils so please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm literally I'm actually like confused right now I so I don't know why it says it's oil free if there's oils in it Maybe I'm just like, I don't know my oils. So if you guys know any better than I do, please feel free to correct me. But I just want to show you guys on the back of my hand, I did get shade NC20. I think I'm going to try it first under my under eyes as concealer because that is the main purpose of this. And then if that goes well, we'll try it all over the face as a foundation. Okay, so I'm just dropping a little drop here on my palette. And I guess I'm just going to put it on. It does have really nice pigments in it, like for the, uh, for how liquidy it is, like it does have a lot of pigment. So it's very easy to blend out with your finger. I'm curious to see um, like how it blends out with a beauty blender, but it's like very undetectable looking on the skin. Like when I'm looking up close in this mirror, I'll show you guys a little bit more up close in a second, but it looks like I have no makeup on under my eye. It just like has some pigments in it that are canceling out a little bit of discoloration. Um, I wouldn't say it's like full coverage. I'd say it's like a light to medium coverage. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on. And we're gonna try and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. It definitely looks like it's a little bit more even of a coverage with the Beauty Blender. Um, I feel like it just disperses the product a little, bit, a little bit more evenly than my finger. And I'm not losing as much coverage as I thought I would with the sponge. I feel like it was gonna like, I felt like it was gonna just soak it all up, but it actually um, isn't really doing that. It's giving me about the same coverage. I wanna bring this up on my eyelids as well to try and cancel out that discoloration. So I'm just gonna do that on both eyes real quick. Yeah, I think I'm definitely liking it better with the Beauty Blender. I just feel like it spreads a little bit more evenly. Okay, so this is what we are looking like up close. This is the side I did with my finger. Um, like right around this area, it looks a little bit patchy. And the side I use with the Beauty Blender just looks a little bit more like fluid and smooth. Um, but either side, I'm not really getting any creasing. It's not falling into any fine lines. It feels really nice underneath the eyes. It feels very hydrating. Um, a lot of that like oil that I initially felt definitely soaked into the skin. 
almost like a skincare type product. It feels really nice. It's definitely a very light, medium skin-like finish and coverage. It's not gonna cover anything too drastic underneath the eyes, but if you're just looking to like look a little bit fresh and awake, I think it, it looks pretty great so far. If you put it on your eyelids, it's definitely gonna crease because it is super emollient. If you don't set it down with a powder, um, I am gonna set it down after everything's all said and done and we're gonna see how it holds up. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just touch up this under eye with a little bit more product with the Beauty Blender sponge just because um, it just looks a little, so it looks a little bit more even. All right, I definitely cannot wear just like concealer by itself. I look crazy because I have like a lot of redness to my skin. So let's put this on as foundation and see how it goes. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna do like three drops just to start with on my little palette. And I'm gonna take a brush first and just brush it on. And then I think I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender once it's on. This is definitely reminding me of the Giorgio Armani um, like Maestro Fusion Foundation. Um, it's just giving me those vibes. It looks really nice on the skin right now. Like it, it makes my skin look really beautiful and glowy and fresh. It actually gave some pretty decent coverage. I know I have like concealer here, but just to compare, um, like my redness on this side to this side, it really did even out pretty nicely. Um, definitely a light to medium looking coverage. I feel like this would be like nice gym makeup. I know not everyone wears makeup to the gym, but if you just like want to look a little bit put together when you go out or go like food shopping, this is nice like on the go type of coverage for me at least. <laughs> All right, so foundation is on. I'm definitely looking very luminous, very glowy, very, very dewy. Um, even though it's like really building up like on my eye area, it's not really building up around my face yet, but I definitely wanna set this like now to see like if I can get long wear out of this because I know if I don't set it, like it's definitely gonna start building up in other areas and slipping around. Like I haven't set it underneath my eyes yet and I am getting like a little bit of build up there, which is super normal if I don't set my concealers, like they all do that. But um, this one, especially being a little bit more creamy um but it blends out really easy like you can just smooth out those lines really quickly which is nice so i'm going to smooth these out and then we're going to set it my laura mercier translucent it looks nice and smooth when i set it it does seem to set pretty nicely actually and then for the rest of my face i'm going to set using the cover effects uh what is this Pressed Mineral Foundation Powder. I like this one for just like an all over face powder. It's got a really light coverage to it, so it's not gonna drastically change anything. It's probably just gonna give us a little bit more coverage and just set the makeup down. Um, wait, oh my God, what the heck? <laughs> I just found an Advil. <laughs> I guess I was having a really rough day one day. All right, so this is what we're looking like right after powder. It definitely looks a little bit more mattified now. Um, I'm sure like throughout the day, I'll gain back some of that moisture and stuff like as I wear it. But um, I'm, I like it so far. Like I normally don't like gravitate towards a very natural like light coverage concealer under my eyes. Like I, I definitely go for like a more full of coverage. So it's like a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I do like it. Like I have to say, I would definitely gravitate towards this on like a no makeup makeup day. Like it looks really nice. I have no complaints about it so far. I think it's because like I've never used this type of formula of concealer underneath my eyes before. That's kind of like tripping me out. Like I don't know what to think about it, but like looking in the mirror, I have no complaints about it. I just need to see like how it wears throughout the day to get like, a full opinion. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup, see how this wears, and I will be back in a couple hours to check in and let you guys know how everything's holding up. I lied, I'm back. I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I didn't do my lipstick yet, but I just finished off like the rest of my makeup. A little bit of blush, bronzer, a little bit of highlight, and stuff like that. I just want to show you guys real quick what other makeup is looking like laying on top of the concealer and the foundation. Um, I guess like concealer, you just call it concealer is a concealer. <laughs> but um, this is what we're looking like. I was pretty impressed that um, nothing got disturbed when I was blending on top of it. So that's a good sign, even though it's very emollient, it stays in place. I do like that. I'm pretty um, curious to see if my mascara transfers with this one because I do have that issue a lot um, with emollient concealers that my mascara will transfer. So it's so far so good. I've had it on for about like 20 minutes now and it's looking pretty well. So right now it is, let's see what time it is. It is 12.02. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wear this for a couple hours and I will be back. Alrighty, what time is it? It is 3.54, so it's been on for about four hours now. Um, I have to head out, so by the time I get home, it's gonna be like completely black outside and I'm not gonna be able to film. It's gonna be way too dark, so I have to do my check-in now. Which, I mean, it's been a pretty good amount of time to start giving opinions, and I definitely do have some. My first opinion straight off the bat is that <laughs> my eyelids definitely got a little creasy. Um, my little bit of eyeshadow that I had on there is definitely like worn off. So I definitely would not put this on your eyelids, which I should have known because of the consistency. Like I should have known it was going to do that. But I just wanted to test it out because I don't know, maybe it wouldn't have done it, but it did. <laughs> the one thing I am really surprised about is that I have basically no transfer from my mascara, which I am actually really shocked about because I thought I was going to have like a really good amount of, um, freaking mascara underneath my eyes with this concealer, but I don't. I have like one little, little tiny dot and that's like pretty impressive because a lot of concealers um, will make my mascara transfer and this being so emollient of a product, I was like, damn, I thought I would be like really upset right now. <laughs> Other than that, the rest of my makeup and the way the um, concealer looks on my face as foundation it looks um, pretty much the same. If not, I think I even like it a little bit better now because after I powdered it down, it was obviously a little bit more matte and I have like normal to dry skin. So I was looking pretty matte, but I feel like now I have like a little bit of natural oils like reacting with it and it just looks really natural and like pretty on my skin. Um, it's definitely still like a light coverage. I don't have any part of it like wearing off. Like it's all still intact after four hours. I think it, it really does look better now than it did before. I don't even really have any buildup on the sides of my nose, which I thought I was definitely going to, given that it really creased on my eyelids. But I think it looks like really, really good. I'm kind of like super impressed with it. I love that it's still intact underneath the eyes. I'm really not getting much creasing. Um, definitely just like normal wear concealer for me. Um, definitely like better than normal, I would say actually. It really doesn't look cakey. like whatsoever on my face. I really like the way it looks on my forehead. I feel like my forehead looks really smooth. Um, and my chin. My chin doesn't look cakey at all. I feel like a lot of times my chin can look like the most cakiest part of my face for some reason, but it looks really smooth. Um, even my pores on my nose, everything looks good. Guys, I'm, I'm all for this. I'm all for it. I was kind of like questioning it like in the beginning, but I'm kind of all about it. Um, I definitely want to try it a couple more times see how it goes, but um, at this moment in time, I would definitely wear again, and I'm going to wear again for sure. I would definitely wear this more like on lighter makeup days, like I said before. That's kind of like what this concealer is intended for, like lighter coverage makeup. This isn't gonna be like your full coverage, like full glam concealer, but if that's what you're in the market for, I think this is a really good option. I did also take some pictures for my thumbnail um, for this video, so I didn't see any significant flashback. It looked pretty good in photos, so no complaints there as well. But other than that, I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, I'll try and update in the description box like if anything happens from this point on when I wear it for the rest of the day, but I don't, I don't really think it's going to. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will definitely answer them. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.